afternoon, IHC football family. We are now into week three. Ladies and gentlemen, it is week three, IHC football. Here we go. We are almost one third done with the season. Can you believe it? And we still have insanity, pure insanity with scheduling. Um, two teams already have canceled their seasons. Uh, some teams are still looking for games. And it's going to continue. And it's going to be crazy. And I think, personally, I think the big the big bomb, um, not a not big bomb, but the big, um, after Labor Day uh, next week, Sunday, Monday, going into Monday, I think, um, hopefully, everything turns out well, but because of Labor Day and COVID, hopefully it doesn't spread and we don't have any more more games than regular be canceled or moved around. Um, it's going to be crazy. It really is. It's going to be very, very crazy. Um, wasn't expecting this, and I think more is going to happen. Uh, but just hope that the cases go down and the whole shebang. And I, it, it sucks for these kids. It really does suck for these kids. These kids deserve to be playing football. Um, but you can't really do anything. We'll see what happens. Um, make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The Deep Dish Football Live, 8 p.m. Wednesday. Um, DuPage Run and Shoot Show with my co-host Patrick Cotto talking DuPage County Football, Thursday, 8 p.m. And at 9 a.m., Breakfast with Coach Big Pete, Saturdays. Make sure you check it out. Breakfast with Coach Big Pete, Saturday, 9 a.m. And players and coaches, please, please, I beg of you. I personally beg of you. If you have a player that's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine touchdowns, whatever, let me know after the game. I don't need his, I don't need the full stats, just how many touchdowns that person scored. If I could get yards, that's, that'd be a bonus. But if your player had a key game, let me know. DM me through Twitter or Facebook. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. I'm looking for the Illinois player of Friday night. So please let me know. Again, coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. And I usually select a player of Illinois between 1 to 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. Yes, it is late. So please let me know after the game. Like, I'll just, oh, um, John Doe ran for five touchdowns. But you'd like to know that, Coach Big Pete. That's all you need to know. And you can call me Pete, Peter Leinenberg. Oh, you can call me asshole. Just let me know. All right. So let's get ready for week three. I just say football. Here we go. Um, and as I do, Every week I scroll through the IHSA org uh, schedule, and last week I had games canceled on me, and I'm still going to do it, but there's probably going to be more games canceled, and I already see a school right now on this list. They just canceled their season. Uh, Sullivan, they canceled their, Sullivan is not playing football. Uh, they are out for the season. Uh, so is Urbana. Urbana is not playing football at all this season as well. So, let's get Started. By the way, big shout out, and I want to talk about this just now. Big shout out to Lincoln and Coach Silky, 2 0. Congratulations to you, Coach. Congratulations to that team. Well deserved. It's, I just want to give a huge shout out to that. That, that, that is big. Mount Zion and uh, Mama Hood Seymour, always a big time game. Looking forward to, especially with Mama Hood, Se Mama Hood Seymour's uh, running tech against a pretty good Mount Zion defensive line. Um, Taylorville at Mantoon. Taylorville went 2 0. They could got a good chance of going 3 0. And he, they listened to the writers that said that they were going to be in last place in the conference. Big shout out to Taylorville as they're rocking three. And oh, um, Genoa Kingston's very interesting against North Boone. I like that. Genoa Kingston's offensive line had a hell of a game um, in week two. Definitely a game to check out in the Big Northern Conference. All right, let's go down some more, shall we? All right, so we get into the Big 12 Conference. 
And for the Big 12 Conference, Peoria Danville, very interesting game as well. That game just got canceled. Urbana is not playing football anymore. Um, Champaign Centennial versus Normal West here. We've all chance Champaign Centennial is 2-0. Definitely a big shot for Champaign Centennial. Their coach and Brady Boat, right, the quarterback. And that whole team of Champaign Centennial. They're proving everyone wrong. Well deserved. Fairfield at Johnson City is always a huge game. Definitely a game I'm looking forward to in the uh, Black Diamond Conference as well. Um, Central A&M versus St. Theresa. Interesting game. St. Theresa is looking great this season. Definitely another game that I'm keeping a close uh, eye on. Sullivan, they just canceled their season. Um, what more can I say, ladies and gentlemen? It's Leonard Ball time. Derek Leonard takes on Ken Leonard, his dad. Sacred Heart Griffin versus Rochester. Big game. Always a big game. Rochester, they lost to Loyola Academy in uh, pretty much a blowout, but you got to give it to them in such a short time. They were able to have a game after Rochester's game. I think, I forgot who they canceled with. On a Thursday, they managed to get a game ready for a Saturday against the Lyle Academy team. They lost the Lyle Academy, but they're going to be hungry, and they're facing a very, very uh, tough Sacred Heart Griffin team. Definitely a game I'm keeping a very good close eye, eye on. <coughs> Glenwood versus Jacksonville. It's going to be a big game. Jacksonville, Elijah Owens going against a tough Glenwood team. Be another interesting game in the Central State 8. No doubt about that. And we're going to continue to go down on the uh, list of IHSA.org. Week 3. Week 3 uh, games. You can check it out on IHSA.org on the football schedule and everything else. The whole shebang. Uh, Chicago Public, uh, CPS. Eh. They're having a tough season. A lot of those schools are having a tough season. Ken, Kenwood and Morgan Park. Two teams that are playing their butts off. Definitely two teams that you need to keep an eye out. It's Taft as well. Um, and big shout out to Chicago Academy, by the way. Big shout out to Chicago Academy. Um, they're playing their butts off too. Uh, Chicago Academy. Um, I forgot his last name. It's going to kill me. Their athlete. He got two touchdowns. He got three touchdowns, I believe. Oh, last uh, Friday or Saturday, he did a wonderful job at Chicago Academy. All right. So we go into the Duquesne Conference, and we talk about the Duquesne Conference. We talk about the biggest game I see right now between two fire teams that no one was expecting. Geneva at Glen Bar North is going to be a beast of a game. Beast of a game. They could get, the, just remember this, both for 2-0. and They could get to 3-0. and This is a game to prove everyone wrong uh, to get to that 3-0 thing. So it's going to be a good game. Glenbard North has got a team that's playing like a team. Simple as that. So does Geneva. It's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a slobber knocker right there, ladies and gentlemen. Slobber knocker. All right. So we get to St. Charles North versus Weedon Warrenville South. Weedon Warrenville South lost a horrible game to Nico Valley. Uh, but I think they're ready to bounce back against a very tough St. Charles North team. Keep an eye out for that quarterback plum. He could be the next big quarterback coming out of the state of Illinois. He is only a freshman, I repeat. He is only a freshman. Keep an eye out for Plum from St. Charles North. No doubt about it. All right. So we get into the Fox Valley Conference. Crystal Lake Central versus Cary Grove. Crystal Lake Central, they got to prove that they that they can challenge this conference against a very tough Cary Grove team. Um, it's going to be a good game. Prairie Ridge at Huntley, that's always a good game. Huntley needs to bounce back and get that big W against that Prairie Ridge team. No doubt about that. Uh, Burlington Central's got a good shot for being 2-1. Jacob scores against McHenry. Jacobs has a good shot at going 2-1 too. So, Fox Valley's looking very interesting. No doubt about that. Um, that game got canceled. <laughs> it, you just look at some of the games and you know the game just got canceled. That's great. Uh, deep dish football game of the week is Lyle versus Streeter. No, Lyle versus, I'm sorry, Reed Custer. I'm excited about this game. I'm really excited. Uh, good to be back in ice country, or I originally call it the Interstate 8 country. I'm excited to be at Reed Custer. I think this is going to be a great game. Reed Custer has a shot to be 3-0. 3-0. and 0. 
Um, this team deserves to be in the playoffs. I really do believe that. I think this team has worked their butts off. Um, and for, just to see this program back in greatness, is that's great to see. And Lyle's always tough. Parkland football is always a tough football. So it's going to be a hell of a game as Lyle takes on Reed Custer. No doubt about that. Um, <clears throat> Wilmington and Cole City could be the biggest game for, for the ice. Wilmington is looking good. Cole City, they beat Bishop Mack in the second game. Um, that's a game. That's a game. Wilmington, Cole City, definitely a game you need to check out. Um, Kalen at Sycamore is always a great game. No doubt about that. Very interested to see how Kalen's running attack goes against that Sycamore defensive line. Um, Ottawa versus LaSalle Pru, another interesting game as well. Morris at Woodstock North, another big game. Pretty good in the white. Uh, Kishraki, Wab, whatever, River, Interstate 8. White Conference looks pretty good to uh, watch. Marengo at Johnsburg, interesting game as well. Plano, uh, no, that's not a good game. It's a rivalry game, but uh, Sandwich isn't doing so well this uh, this year. Um, all right, let's get into the Lincoln Trial. Um... Nah, nope. Robinson at Mount Carmel, I'm interested, to, I'm interested to see how Mount Carmel does. Mount Carmel's looking great. Um, their sophomore athlete, I forgot his name, he's going to tell me, is looking good. The Golden Aces are looking good this year. I know that about that. Um, I see Elmo Park, that's a, that's, that's a total wash game. I see he's going to win that game. Wien Academy, Aurora Central Catholic, that could be an interesting game. Wien Academy, they got their first one last week. They got a good shot being 2-1. Uh, St. Francis at St. Edward could be an interesting game, but I'm going to give that advantage to St. Francis. St. Francis is just too much. I think they got a lot of their motivation back after they beat Pi uh, Pe Peoria, definitely. Um, Dunlap at Peak, an interesting game. I, there's just something interesting about this Dunlap team. I really like this Dunlap team. Um, Morden at Canton, very interesting game as well. Keep a very close eye on Morden this year. I'm definitely keeping a close eye on Morden. Um, uh, Warren Township versus St. Benton, not that much. Lake Zurich and Libertyville, huge, interesting game. I'm talking about Libertyville. Very close line on Libertyville. That offensive line is dominant. Um, and Lake Zurich, they're ready to play too. So, interesting game as well. Um, Belvedere North beat Rockford Boylan. Belvedere North takes on Rockford Jefferson. Could be a very interesting team in Northern Illinois. Definitely do not sleep on that team. Um, Grays Lake North versus Grays Lake Central is a big rivalry game. Definitely a game to check out as well. Uh... Dupac at Fulton, interesting game in the NUIC, especially with Dupac. They're going 2-0. Fulton's a tough team, interesting game as well. Uh, Lena Winslow versus Galena as well. Lena Winslow, again, um, looking like the top dogs. Galena, they had a tough first week uh, loss, uh, so it should be an interesting game. Um, that game got canceled, and that game got canceled, and gee. Uh, it's just a pain in the ass right now. It really is. Uh, <clears throat> nope. I'm just looking at the list of I just see that. Oh, there's just there's some games where you just know it's going to be a complete wash. Well, that's another wash right there. <laughs> um. Another wash. Spring Valley Hall versus Princeton is always a good game. I was there in 2018, 2019. Um, I'm, that's an interesting game. The Three Rivers, Mississippi Conference. Um, let's look at the Three Rivers Rock Conference. Who they got? Uh, nah, not that much. Um, Glenbard South at South Elgin Upstate A Conference. Glenbard South's looking good. South Elgin's looking pretty good this season. South Elgin, uh, who did he beat? 
They beat St. Vitor in the first week. I'm looking towards that game, definitely. Lombard South versus uh, South Elgin. No doubt about that. <laughs> Uh, and a uh, big shout out to Glenbard East, too. Glenbard East is looking good this season as well. Do not have to sleep on this Glenbard East team. Uh, Coach Waters has got to just do his damnedest with that team. No doubt about that. All right, let's go to the West Suburban Gold Conference, shall we? In the West Suburban Gold Conference. Um, another wash. <laughs> Suburban Silver. Uh, Lions Township versus Hinsdale Central is a big rivalry game. Lions Township and Tennessee Central, uh, two teams, I believe, they're both one and one. Lions Township, um, good quarterback, good passing attack, good defensive line. Hinsdale Central, just unbelievable defense. It's going to be a good game with the West Suburban. Um, and I just don't see anyone stopping that Glenbar West team. That Glenbar West team with Joey Pohl, uh, Turek at our offensive tackle. That offensive line, those group of linebackers, I just don't see anyone putting a stop to that titanic team of Glenbard West. I just don't. I don't really see it. Um, Western Big Six, eh, I got killed. I literally got killed on Galesburg. I'm getting killed on Galesburg. I really did think Galesburg was going to have a great season this season. I really did. I was hoping for it too, but it didn't happen. Um, Camp Point Central versus Unity, very interesting. Camp Point Central this season, very team, to, very good team to check out. Um, interested in Route Route Catholic in uh, uh, against Beardstown. That's another interesting game as well. Western Illinois Valley South Division. Greenfield is another Greenfield is a team to watch as well. Um, we get into the non-conference. Hersey versus uh, Marmion Academy versus Montini. That's a big game for Marmion Academy. Um, I'm, I'm actually very, this could, that could be a dark horse game. That really could be a dark horse game in week three, no doubt about that. Um, bunch of Duquesne, uh, DuPage Valley Conference teams are going out of state. Does that make any sense? Nope. Wabazi Valley. At Shaker Heights in Ohio. Uh, Meta Valley plays Belleville East. That's in the state. Barrington at New Trier. Ooh, that's a good game. Uh, New Trier is looking good. New Trier. New Trier is looking like the real deal. No doubt about that. Bradley Bourbon versus Lock at Lockport. Another interesting game as well. Um, no, that's not a good game. <laughs> Cuyahoga at Plantsville. Johnson Central, Kentucky. We have another out-of-state team. That's great. I'm keeping a very interesting eye on Salt Fork High School. They have a recruit. He's a tight end slash athlete. He could be one of the top ten recruits in the state of Illinois for a class of 2023, if I'm not mistaken. Keep a very close eye on that. Um, De La Salle and Julia Catholic could be an interesting game. Uh... St. Rita at Lyle Academy Saturday is always a big game, definitely. But I just don't see anyone stopping Lyle Academy. I think Lyle Academy, they're just world beaters right now. I think they're just world beaters. Um, Downers Grove North, Downers first Downers Grove South, Downers Grove South is own 2 Downers Grove North is 2-0. No one really thought that was going to happen. There was going to be another way around. Downers Grove North, if they beat Downers Grove South. Ugh, wow. That, that could be tough. That could be tough. Um. East St. Louis takes on Bellflowers, St. John Bosco. Oh, they play St. John Bosco. I know that school. It's a big, big powerhouse. That's actually a really... Now, that's a big game right there. Uh, they're going out of state, and I know they play IMG Academy in a couple of weeks, East St. Louis. So, that's, that's a scary team, East St. Louis. I'm telling you right now. I consider um, them and Lyle Academy, no doubt, the two best teams in the state of Illinois. No doubt about that. Um... Yeah, nope. Nope. I'm just looking at the schedule. Uh, that's <sighs> Nazareth Academy and Nurse. Nazareth Academy is on too. Can they do something? Yeah, they can do something. Are they gonna do it? Eh, it's it's 
just it's going to be a tough season for Nancy for Ken. But I gotta, I gotta say that um, did we have a suspicion that this was going to happen? Yeah, not just me. I think a lot of people. Nazareth was it. Um, Nazareth wasn't there in the beginning of the season. There were things that were going on, um, just player, just player wise, and everything. I think uh, Nazareth Academy will be back next year. Um, but I think Nazareth Academy is going to have a hard season. Could they make the playoffs this season? Yeah, no doubt about it. But they got to get things together. And they, I mean, they're starting a freshman quarterback now, and he's a hell of a quarterback too, by the way. Hell of a quarterback. Um, I'm forgetting his last name. Um, but it's going to take some time with him. Uh, the growth with him is going to be huge on uh, Nazareth, no doubt about that. Um, Lincoln at Jerseyville, if Lincoln gets 3 and all, holy, wow, wow. Big shout out to, I'm telling you, Coach Silky, he's got that team motivated, no doubt about that. Um, Bennett Academy, Brother Rice, that's going to be a tough game for Bennett Academy. Brother Let Rice is playing their uh, butts off. Quincy Notre Dame, I'm telling you that. Keep, keep an eye out for Coach Cornell, Cornell and Quincy Notre Dame. Do not think that team is a joke. That Quincy Notre Dame, not, not a joke. Everyone thought that team was going to be good. But Quincy Notre Dame could make a big splash moving into the playoffs. Just a quick warning about that. Um, Massey County against Anna Jones. Burrow, definitely an interesting game as well. Massey County had their first female kicker. I believe kick an extra point, if I'm not mistaken. Big shout-out to that, to Massa County, Metropolis. Big shout-out to them. Um, no. Lamont has got, Lamont's got a good shot of being 3 all. Just to let you guys know. They're going against Shepard. Um, and we go down some more. And what do we got here? We got more out-of-state uh, competition going on. A lot. Providence Catholic versus Fenwick, interesting game. Providence Catholic has to get that win. Lincoln Way West versus Bolingbrook, another interesting game as well. Uh, for basically the reason of Link Bolingbrook being 2 0, if they can get to 3 0, I'm telling you right now, Bolingbrook, Coach Ivo, he's got that team playing and believing too. Um, when people don't think anything, uh, think anything of it. Naperville Central at Novi, the out of state game. Naperville, Nico Valley, St. Louis, St. Mary's. Naperville North, Michigan, Brownstone, they're all traveling out of state. And we still have scheduled games that still need to be scheduled, and they're traveling out of state. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but can't do anything about it. You really, you just can't. You just got to take it as it is. I don't want to lose my last week game of the week. They look good. Um, Sandberg. Andrew, I'm looking towards that game. Um, I know the Sandberg zone too. Uh, just keeping a close eye again, Coach McAllister. This could be a big game for Coach McAllister, no doubt about it. Frim takes on Maine South. I don't think that anything's going to happen. I think Maine South's going to win that game. Uh, Palatine and Evanston. Palatine's got to do something. Do something. Palatine uh, needs that W. Uh, no doubt about that. Um, Yorkville. Plainfield South, Plainfield East, Oswego East. Oswego East is looking good, by the way. I don't sleep on Oswego East. Lincoln Way East, they lost uh, last week. They're going against a very, very, very uh, uh, not-so-good team in stack. Big, good bounce-back game from Lincoln Way East, no doubt about that. Um, Ottawa Marquette, I talked about that. They're Creek Mackinac, which uh, Ottawa Marquette's looking like just world beaters. And that small uh, 1A. A class and Romeoville and Manuka, not that much of a game. Salem at Harrisburg, I'm very interested in Salem. Um, Grand City out of state, but I understand that. Um, Chicago Hope Academy, I think that game got canceled, if I'm not mistaken. That game got canceled. Uh, Wood River takes on Okemus. Okemus, they're 2-0. Oh. Wait, I, yeah, I think they're 2-0, oh, yeah. Okemus is 2-0. Oh. Um, Marion Central takes on St. Patrick. Marion Central has a good chance to be 2-1. They fought their butts off against IC, no doubt about that. Uh, and that is... A
about it for week three, actually football games. And I guarantee you six, seven games will be canceled. I guarantee you. As soon as I this video goes up on YouTube and Facebook, six or seven games will be canceled. I have no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So it is what it is, but hey. We just gotta get through all this crap. Again, wash your hands, social distance, wear a mask, yada yada yada. Get vaccinated. Please get vaccinated. I beg of you to get vaccinated. Let's put an end to this crap. Let the, these kids let's have these kids play their nine weeks or eight weeks or seven weeks or whatever. Let them play football. Simple as that. So follow Coach Big Pete and do this football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpete at fp at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And for all of you guys, have a lovely day. Let's get ready for week three football. Thank you guys so much.